Welcome back, friends. Well, here we are in our third week talking about integrity. I'm sure you can tell me what integrity means, right? Okay, go ahead. That's exactly right. Integrity is doing what's right or what is good and loving in all situations. See, I know you've been listening to this very important topic. So far, we've been learning about Enoch and Noah and how they showed integrity in their walk with God. They pleased the one true God in doing what was right and good and loving in all situations. In our lesson today, we get to learn about Daniel and how his integrity for God led others to show their integrity for God through their actions. Kind of like, well, follow the leader. You've played that game, right? Only this wasn't a game. This was real life. Hey, why don't we stop for a minute and pray? Father God, thank you so much for this beautiful day where we get to stop all of the week's busyness and be with you. Thank you for bringing us together so we can open your word and be blessed by you and we can learn from you and we can grow with you. Help us to know even more what it means today to be followers of Jesus with integrity. As we learn about Daniel, may we see the lessons that you have for us in our lives as well. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus, your son, amen. Have you ever felt like you were being pressured? Which means you felt like someone was almost forcing you to do something you didn't wanna do? What happened? Keeping that in mind, our Bible verse today is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 11. It says, even a child is known by his or her behavior, and their actions show if they are innocent and good. Let's do a fun experiment about pressure, about force. We're gonna find out about force today and whose force is greater. We have forces of evil, and then we have the force that Daniel relied on, God. We're going to be pouring some water into the forces of evil cup and covering it with Daniel who relied and depended on the force of God. And we're going to see what happens when I turn the cup over. Are you ready? Watch what happens when I turn the cup over. Do you think the force of the water is going to push the card off? Well, let's find out. Look at that. Do you see how strong the card is? That's because the air pressure pushing up on the card is much greater than the force of the water pushing down. This relates to our Bible lesson today about Daniel. He was a good leader. His bravery and courage were so much greater than the force of the evil kings and the hateful people who tried to stop him from following God. Daniel spoke God's message even when it would have been, well, easier to keep quiet. Daniel was such a good leader with amazing integrity. Let's learn a little more about Daniel and his integrity for God right now. This is the story of Daniel, a young man from Jerusalem. From a very young age, he was taught to follow the one true God. His parents would tell him of the words that God spoke, saying, I am the Lord your God. I brought you out of the land of Egypt where you were slaves. You must not have any other gods except me. Daniel grew to learn about all God's love. Even as a teenager, he was already a leader by showing integrity and following God. Daniel honored and worshiped God with his actions in the good and bad times. Like when he was taken from his family 
by that one king, Nebuchadnezzar. The king took him as a prisoner. He wanted to train young, smart, talented men to worship and work for him. I want that one, that one, that one, and that one. Even though Daniel was taken from his family and his homeland, he could never run away from that. King Nebuchadnezzar tried to turn Daniel and these young men into his followers. He acted like he was doing them a huge favor, but Daniel, he never fell for it. I will not eat the foods that is offered to idols. Allow me and my friends to eat vegetables and drink water for 10 days. The one true God will provide what is needed for us. Because of Daniel's faith and integrity with God, he worked for the king, but he did not worship him. God gave Daniel the ability to do many things, and he became a leader of integrity, like speaking God's messages and choosing to do the right thing even when it was not popular. That was a horrible dream. Someone, bring me my interpreter. King Nebuchadnezzar, God gave me the meaning of your dream, but you're not gonna like it. No one and nothing could stop Daniel from worshiping his God. There were people who didn't like Daniel because he walked really, really close with God. They were leaders of evil and not integrity. See, I told you, he doesn't worship the king, he worships his, his God. Hm. Just wait till the king finds out. Ooh, this boy is gonna be in trouble. Daniel found himself in a lion's pit because the evil leaders were jealous of him. Even though Daniel's life was in danger, he'd still worship God. And this pleased God. God saved Daniel from the lion's pit and used him for many, many more years to become a great leader for God. Daniel really showed what it meant to lead with integrity. Here are some questions to talk over with your family. What was one way that Daniel showed courage? What a great question to think about, courage. Number two, how was Daniel a good leader? And number three, what can you do when someone is trying to get you to disobey God? These are such helpful and good questions to think about today. The story of Daniel, he remained faithful to God no matter what. Isn't that amazing? It just makes me want to stand strong in my faith too. So when we say no or no thank you to all the people and the things that go against God's goodness and yes to the things that God wants us to live in, we are showing integrity and we are leading others to believe that they can do it too. They can have integrity too. So how about it? Do you want to be known as a person of integrity? I think I do. Wouldn't it be great to know that others are making really positive decisions to follow God's goodness because they were inspired by you and the way you follow God's goodness, no matter what? That's leadership and that's cool. Let's pray. God, thank you for your love and your goodness and thanks for teaching us how to have integrity like our friend Daniel in scripture. We're so inspired and we hope this week that we can teach others about your goodness through the good ways that we share love and your goodness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today and we hope that you'll meet us here again next week. In the meantime, why not lead others in a life of integrity? That would really be awesome for God's goodness. See you next time.